Okay, folks, just back out again, spending a, another couple of hours shooting some crows, uh, protecting the lambs. I'd done a video similar to this uh, about a week ago, but unfortunately the way the light was and the sun, it was terrible. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't see through the scope, couldn't see through the camera. So I've decided to do it again tonight. What I have done is I've done a static clean on the barrel, so I've pulled the boar snake through, cleaned the barrel. Um, I've just fired five shots through the chronograph just to check clean cold bore uh, velocities. Basically, what you don't want is to clean your barrel and it takes 10, 15, 20 shots to season the barrel back up. So what I've done is I've seasoned the barrel with five shots from the thorough clean or thorough pull through, recorded the velocities, which I'll share with you later. And I'm just gonna shoot them three rocks off the walls, 150 yards, 152. Um, you see the post on the right there, the post of doom, <laughs> where I've done some spectacular groups with my FX Impact and also Panthera. But I just thought I'd record this tonight. It's a beautiful night. I'm out shooting some crows. Uh, I'm unlikely going to get any on camera, but what I thought I would do is just see what happens with a cold, clean bore uh, downrange with regards to accuracy. Um, just a POI change. I mean, I might miss these rocks. I don't know. Um, I haven't performed this test with this uh, rifle, the FX Panthera, yet. I've done lots of testing with the Donny FL Yokozuma uh, moderator, on, off, on, off, and it doesn't change the POI. But what I haven't done is check clean bore impact at 150 yards. Not 50, not 100, 150. Um, so let's go. I might miss this. It might be high, it might be left, it might be right. I've got no idea. I suspect, due to the condition of this liner, I've boroscoped it. I've inspected it, it's a really good liner. Uh, I think we'll be okay here, but I'll start on the rock on the right, then the middle, and then the one on the left, okay? Let's see what happens. Dialed in 16, and a quarter MOA. Just set my butt pad up, there we go. Right, let's go. Not much wind, but uh, enough just to be aware of. Okay. Okay, sending. There's one. Perfect, that dead center. And again, not too sure is that knocked the... Can't see, I think that first shot's knocked the second shot down. Uh, I'm just looking through the camera. I can't quite see through the scope either. I think, yeah, there's one. Let's have a look. I can't quite see, sorry, I'm not a bloody YouTuber, but I'll zoom out so we can That's two for two anyway. I think that first shot has knocked the third rock off. You get lead fragmentation and also you get rock fragments flying off, which knock the other rocks off, but there you go. 152 yards, guys. I'll just keep the camera rolling. That's why I like the old camcorder. It gives you a proper uh, distance perspective and land. I think, there you go, on the top there, Top rock, there's a. There we go. I want to make sure I get this in camera. I haven't stopped the recording yet. There's a small rock right in the center of the screen there on top of the big rock. Let's see. I'll just turn this camera. Sorry, guys, I'm not a videographer. Right, that's better, right. Stay there. Set the screen, tiny rock on top of the big rock. 152 yards, 36 grain Zan slugs. 
thousand five foot per second. Okay, right. Sending. <laughs> well, there you go, boys. Three for three, hundred and fifty two yards. That's verified. That's a clean barrel. It's had five shots through it just to season it. Over the chronograph, it only had five foot per second deviation or extreme spread. And that's the first three shots in terms of accuracy out of the gun. 152 yards, cold ball shot, clean barrel, pretty good.